excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here, too. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantage. So here we are back in one of America's most underrated sports cities. Good to have you with us from Houston, Texas tonight inside Toyota Center. And this is the site of one of your biggest and, and I know most signature wins of your career against Gus back in 2015. One of the biggest fights of my life is when I beat Alexander Gustafson at UFC 192 when I retained my championship. One of the hardest fights of my entire life. The Toyota Center is a great fighter. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Missed with that right hand. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Oh, collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Sneaky head kick. They continue to exchange. Nice shot to the body there. Try to establish that jab. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Just out of range with that right hand. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big leg kick lands. Choi's knee strike there is blocked, so no damage inflicted. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Trying to stay in this fight! Well, he misses with the left punch there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big leg kick land. That's a big strike right there. Ooh, head kick land. He's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. He loaded up with that guy too. Trying 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Well, while we talked about his reach advantage off the top, made good use of it there with that punch, DC. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Effective punch there by Short. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh! And he's out. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. He's very tricky when he throws that body back. Nice. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Chor. Good punch. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Pretty good right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right hand punch with the clinch. So he continues to work well here in the clinch, and he continues to invest in the body. A lot of hook shots landing flush, DC. He's doing a good job of throwing those hooks, wrapping around the guards to get those body shots to land. Opponent knows they're coming. So instead of coming up the middle, he's wrapping around with those big hook shots. Just out of range with that left hook. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Good punch, Lance. Straight right hand now, just misses. Got the single collar ties. Just missed with the left there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Able to land the single ground strike there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Joy gets up. He is back on the feet here. That was a nice strike. Nice head kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Beautiful kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. landed with so much power. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! Huge right hand! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Straight right is there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's great action to get to that takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. 
We'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Going orthodox now. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Liver kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, eats a knee to the head. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Choi. Just misses with the jab. There. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Joy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just misses with the jet. His right hand punches the clinch. What a punch. Oh, nice. Nice. And he landed the right hand there. Right punches there. Joy gets caught with that punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Goes to the body there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. Ten seconds now to go in the round. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Well, he had a lot more of the puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Knocked him down. You've shown you have the power to put anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Ooh, big shot lands. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Put that jab in his face. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, beautiful job to lead with the right hand there, DC. The right hand is the money shot, and he will continue to throw it. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this matchup. Great punch. That one certainly found the target. Nice punch to the head. And now he's got that tie clinch. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and 
I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And he continues to work the body here. Lands with the right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. I mean, this guy is really focused on... An elbow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And we got a fight on our hands! And they separate. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice right hand. Head kick lands. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Way to hide that leg kick. Beautiful punch. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! That's how you finish the fight. An uppercut in! Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, straight right! Let's go! We can score that takedown now. All right, he closes the distance. Yeah. Oh. Just missed with that right hand. Visibly limping here. The Korean Superboy gets stung by that leg kick. Just misses with the straight right. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. The Korean Superboy ground and pound from half court. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Joy gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Nice punch, man. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Stop. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. 
right on the button. Oh, single collar tie here. Straight punch lands. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Back to the feet now. Beautiful body kick. Just misses with that one. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, eight seconds of round number five. Declare the winner by... Oh, no!